Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love at this time, what's been happening in the recent past, any challenges or obstacles, who you might be dealing with and where it's all headed. So let's get into this. Any messages for Taurus spirit regarding love? What does Taurus need to know spirit? Guidance messages, please. Regarding love. Let's start with what's going on for you in love, Taurus. Spirit, what's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on for Taurus in love? Four of Swords. Okay. Very quiet energy. Not a lot of action or communication here. Things could be at a standstill or just stagnant, not really moving for you in love right now. Maybe there's some healing that's happening. You're healing from a relationship or disappointment, processing, reflecting. What's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on for Taurus? Nine of Wands. Okay, so some of you that, uh, for the Taurus that I'm speaking to for this reading, you've been through something difficult regarding love. And I think some of you are taking a little bit of a break. Maybe you're healing from that. Maybe you are just being very careful about how much re you reveal to others. Um, maybe you're being very careful about who you surround yourself with, who you date. Um, I don't think that you're being too open with people right now. But I don't think you're given, you have given up on, on love. I feel like it's more that you're just being very careful right now. What's going on for Taurus in love spirit? What's going on for Taurus when it comes to love? Taking action, movement, action, courage, time to make a move. Bottom of the deck, new beginnings, beginnings, new day journey. You are ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. So I feel like some of you are healing with the intent of moving forward with your life. It's like, I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready to take action. Someone could be taking action towards you in order to have a new beginning with you. What else? What else do we need to know? for Taurus regarding love. What is the overall energy for Taurus regarding love? Crown, authority, recognition, achievement. Some of you I feel like are investing in yourself, focusing on yourself, um, also thinking about achieving something specific in love. For example, Maybe you recently got out of a relationship and you were like, okay, my next partner is going to be different. Or my next relationship, I'm approaching it differently. Um, my next relationship has to be successful, so I'm going to be very careful who I pick, etc., etc., etc. Some of you also, I'm getting that, like, you weren't looking for love again, but since you've invested in yourself so much, you're drawing love into your life. Bottom of the deck, once upon a dream. I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. Some of you could be meeting a soulmate at this time. Maybe you've had a past life relationship or connection that you just weren't aware of in this lifetime, but they're coming towards you. All right, so let's see. Let's get some more insight. What's gone on in the recent past for Taurus? What's been happening for Taurus in love in the recent past spirit? What's been going on for Taurus in the recent past? Five of Swords. Yeah. So I can understand why you're taking a break. <laughs> because I feel like you were dealing with someone that wasn't fair to you. Maybe took advantage of you. Maybe mistreated you. Or was just thinking of themselves. Selfish. You know? Maybe there was a lot of conflict in that past connection. I think that this really affected how open or generous you are with others. 
Let me know if that's the case in the comments. What's been going on for Taurus in the recent past? Page of Swords. I feel like if someone was lying to you, you found out. Um, maybe someone deceived you. Um, maybe you've been having communications with someone, thinking one thing, but it ended up being another. Um, King of Cups and Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone could be still interested in you romantically and you're just not, not open to it because of everything that's happened. I feel like you're, you have your guard up because of the, the recent past. What's been the challenge for Taurus? What's been the challenge for Taurus? When it comes to love, when it comes to this situation. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, can I get one more? Wow, Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, the ch Okay, there's a Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So the challenge that I'm seeing here is... Missed opportunities, number one. And also, I'm getting like... All that glitters isn't gold. So maybe you thought it was going to be a fortunate thing or a good thing. Maybe you were misled. Someone presented themselves as something good. And then you found out that that's not the case. That was the wrong choice. That was the wrong opportunity. That wasn't what I thought it was. Tell me about this person that Taurus is, has or we'll be dealing with. What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about this individual that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? Oh my gosh. Seven of Swords. What do we need to know about this individual that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? Okay, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, there's the Hermit. Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck. I have a feeling that th this is all, um, the previous energy that you've been dealing with. I don't think this is new energy. Yeah, Seven of Wands. This is the person that you've been dealing with, Taurus. They're still in your energy. Um, they're still interested in you or there's still communication happening. There's still interactions happening. Um, this person is wanting to take action towards you. They might want you back. They might want to have a new beginning with you. I have a feeling that um, for the Taurus collective that I'm speaking to right now, I don't think you're interested in that. I think you have your eyes set on something else, on focusing on yourself, on what's ahead. You don't want to look back, I feel. Let me get some PS I love yous for this person. What do we need to know about this individual? Taurus, I feel like a lot of you, it's like this is a, a message that happens for you quite a bit. I don't usually get messages like this for the other signs, but for Taurus, it's almost always like Taurus wants more. Taurus is looking ahead. Taurus is moving forward. Taurus is on a certain path. I, it's very rare that the message is that Taurus wants to return to where they've been. Not to say that that never happens, just not on my channel, it seems like. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Taurus? What is this person's energy towards Taurus? Taking charge. So this person's taking action. They have a goal in mind. They know what they want. Um, time apart is at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this is someone that wants to address the separation. What do we need to know about what's happening in the near future? I feel like Taurus, if this is someone you're dealing with from the recent past, you do need time to clear this energy out. You cannot take this energy, this connection, this attachment into your new beginning, into another relationship. 
And I feel like that's why crown is here. It's like you want to achieve certain things for yourself, focus on yourself, be recognized for what you bring to the table. And I feel like you want to shake this off. What's happening next for Taurus in love? What's happening next for, for Taurus in love? The high priestess? Wow, the lovers. What's happening next for Taurus? Gemini energy there. What's happening next for Taurus in love? Three of swords, knight of swords. Can I get one more? One more energy, please. What's happening next for Taurus? Queen of swords, okay. So what I'm seeing here with the high priestess, Queen of Swords, um, Knight of Swords. I feel like um, there is communication coming in, but I don't think it's going to end well uh, with the Three of Swords, or maybe someone wants to talk about their heartache. However, I feel like you're going to be very guarded. Once again, I, I get this energy of you being guarded with the Queen of Swords here. Um, you're not being very open with the High Priestess. I feel like you're keeping things to yourself. Um, some of you might already have someone in mind or someone secretly interested in you. Um, let me see what this Knight of Swords is about. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Magician. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay. This person is the person that you separated from or you had an ending with. They're going to try to talk to you again and make some sort of proposition to you. I feel like they will end up disappointed. Like I really do. I think, obviously correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I don't think you want the past back. I think you're focused on what can be in the future. Like what's the future hold for me? Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here, spirit? Why is the lovers here? Judgment. Why is the lovers here? The moon. Okay, Pisces energy. Um, this is the person that you're dealing with again. Okay, so this is basically a reading about this person wanting you back. Maybe they were not being very open with their feelings or maybe when they do come to you and ask for the second chance. Taurus, I feel like you're going to be very mysterious, not give this person a lot of information. I feel like you have a wall up where this person cannot get through no matter how hard they try. Um, some of you really need to listen to your intuition, to your gut instinct. Some of you, I feel like you ignored it in the past and you're definitely not going to ignore it now. So obviously it's up to you what you want to do regarding this person. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I just am going to tell you what I feel that I see here. This person is going to come towards you. And I feel like a lot of you, your intuition is going to tell you that maybe this isn't what you want. Some of you, maybe you'll change your mind. You'll let me know in the comments, but that's kind of the energy I'm getting here is that some of you are kind of not very trusting of this person. So what can really happen here? You know, so many unknowns or doubts regarding this individual. The Seven of Swords showed up for them. So it's almost like you know that something's up and you don't want to be in this situation again where you thought you were going to get you know, a pot of gold and you ended up getting a lump of coal, you know, should have been a wrapper, but tarot reader is what I like to do. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. Let me know in the comments if you did hit that like button before you leave. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you if you're interested in any of the decks that I used today. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again, and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon.
Take care.